Good morning, this is Sharon from the House of Prayer. With shortening of days, no deficiency, a prophecy that was given to Bertha Dude on August 25th, 1952. The spiritual development of men only progress minimal. A frightening state has arisen. Only a few men increase their degree of maturity, but the whole remains on always the same level while visible deviation down. And if an end of this earth would not have been scheduled in the plan of salvation from eternity, then men with higher degree of maturity would also still again be thrown back into the deep. But for the sake of the chosen, God has shortened the days. The complete decline and falling away from God is no longer stoppable. That is why the shortening of the days is no longer a deficiency for fallen mankind, but still a salvation for the ones who can only assert themselves with difficulties, which have to struggle terribly to offer resistance to the assault from above. Mankind steers towards the end because it itself speeds it up. Because for the sake of the believers, the days will be shortened. It just accelerates the end because it is clearly recognizable that there is no longer salvation for men and therefore the days for those for these will not be shortened, where they still could become blessed. They have finally decided on the opponent of God, and that is why only God's children are to be helped so that they stand firm in the last distress on this earth. And so salvation will come to those children of God suddenly and unexpectedly before they become staggering because Satan does not stop until he gets bound. All possibilities will be exhausted before to still promote the spiritual development of men, but without success, as God knows it since eternity. Men will be willing to listen to no admonition and warning. They only know one aim, to live on earth in enjoyment and pleasure, and they reject everything that might hinder them at that or are hostile towards it. They mock God and even more his servants. The time has come about which it is written. It will be as in the days of Noah. They were eating and drinking marrying and given in marriage until the day of judgment. Men really no longer lose anything when the earth gets destroyed because what they own is so worthless and what is worth of worth they no longer strive for. But the sooner the life of these men is ended, the sooner they begin the road that once again leads up. There is no longer much time, because for the sake of the chosen ones, the days will be shortened. Think of this, when the living conditions seem to be unbearable for you, who want to remain loyal to God. Think of this, that you receive power to hold out until the end, and the, this end will no longer be a long time in coming because the promise will come true that God shortens the days for the sake of the chosen to help them to get eternal happiness. Amen. Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 and 22 For then there will be great distress unequaled from the beginning of the world until now and never to be equaled again. If those days had not been cut short, no one would survive. 
but for the sake of the elect, these days will be shortened. Matthew chapter 24, verses 37 and 38. As it was in the days of Noah, so will it be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the last days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away.